Welcome. Today we are going to make a Wordle game and we are going to do something uh, fun with it. So uh, the plan here is to replicate the Wordle game, uh, which is quite popular. And then we'll add some personal flavor uh, to the game's user interface and make it more interesting and dynamic and perhaps more engaging. Uh, so that is the plan. Um, this is going to be uh, taking a number of videos uh, to uh, make ultimately the final game. And today is the first step, which is going to basically create something as a web page so that we can host that game on that page. So that will require some uh, coverage of HTML. So um, we are not going to uh, introduce everything uh, in HTML, but we are going to just pick up things on the go. If we need certain things in HTML, we'll pick it up. up. So HTML is basically the hypertext uh, markup language that is commonly used to create web pages. And HTML particularly is for the content and structure of your web page. And then if you need to kind of give certain styles to your page to format, you know, your um, the elements and components of the page and perhaps change the font size and styles, uh, you will need CSS, which is cascading uh, style sheets uh, that allows you to kind of change the presentation the look and feel of your web page. And so we are going to kind of go through some HTML and CSS uh, in this video uh, to make a basic page uh, that potentially uh, can host uh, the world of game. And then in the future, we, we need to introduce JavaScript, you know, uh, to, so that we uh, as users can interact, right, with the the game. So for example, when you click on something uh, on a ladder on the keyboard, it's going to, you know, show the ladder on the interface. And then, you know, uh, depending on uh, whether your letters match uh, the actual word, uh, it's going to show you different colors. And so that will require uh, JavaScript, a programming language on the web uh, to be able to do that. Um, I said uh, we are going to also add some flavor uh, to the game. And uh, so there is one thing I would like to uh, introduce, which is some physics engine that allows us perhaps, you know, uh, we can make the interaction uh, between the game and the user uh, more interesting. So let me let me just quickly go through, you know, you know the world of game, right? Uh, on the right side of my screen is an example of the wordle right and uh, basically it's a, a five letter word and um, it's hidden and so you have to guess which five letters should be so it takes up to six tries in this uh, version okay so i think you know the game and so we are going to rely on uh, references from the w3 schools uh, for um, information and you know, related examples on HTML, uh, which is the language to create web content, and then CSS cascading style sheet uh, to change the style and format of your page, and then JavaScript uh, for interactions and programming on the web, and then uh, finally, the um, this is one, a uh, physics engine that I envision we are going to use uh, down the road uh, when we want to kind of introduce. For example, we can implement an interface where the letters are objects and we can pick a letter and it's going to fall down into one of the boxes in the world of game. So that is the plan. And then along the way, I think there is also one thing that is going to be useful. Uh, which is the Flexbox uh, technology. This is part of actually CSS or cascading style sheet that de de decides the look and feel. And so uh, Flexbox technology is part of CSS, which allows you to uh, define how things will be structured and organized and 
flow from one to the other so I, so think about the uh, the world right there are rows and columns and so we need to make uh, related components uh, as rows and, and columns and so that is you know the basic use of flexbox and so uh, we are not going to cover everything at once but we are going to uh, kind of pick up things here and there uh, once we get into the implementation okay so that is kind of the, the layout I'm, I'm going to put all the references uh, in the description of this video so uh, take a look uh, in the description uh, but to start with um, you need some kind of uh, editor uh, to create a page to change HTML to change CSS and perhaps also program in JavaScript so I think uh, the most popular um, uh, editor or I should say the uh, IDE integrated uh, development environment today is the Visual Studio Code and that's what you see on the left hand side of my screen so we are going to use uh, videos, uh, VS Code here uh, for all our uh, uh, steps uh, in this project so uh, if you haven't done so go ahead to search for VS Code and download and install it on your computer create a project in there and perhaps uh, for this particular uh, specific uh, set of videos I'm going to create just a separate uh, folder called Wordle okay and I'm going to put everything in it so this likely is going to be just a one page uh, project so ultimately we're going to create one HTML page uh, perhaps perhaps a CSS file to control the look and feel and then a JavaScript with all the programs necessary for this game and so with that let's go get started okay so in the VS code I'm going to new a file and I'm going to call this uh, something like uh, I can call it index.html because it's already under Wordle okay um, the name index uh, this is normally the default page if you go to a particular website and and the web server tries to load a page on from that particular directory of that website the first uh, page that will normally be uh, loaded if you do not specify the name will be the index.html so um, so I'm going to just create an index.html and put in HTML code it's important that you have the .html so that your browser and other uh, tools that you use will recognize that this is an HTML page okay so I'm going to go through some basic HTML um, so in VS Code I think the good news here is that whenever you t try to type in something and as long as you have the correct file extension HTML it's going to automatically suggest things that you probably will will need to um, you know type in and, and it will actually make your um, work more efficient and easier so uh, in HTML normally the first thing you will need to do is this less than and bracket dot type okay and you see when I type less than exclamation mark dot type I only type doc and automatically it suggests the uh, the rest of it and I press enter it automatically completes everything and that's what I need and this is basically to declare that this is an HTML page right so we can continue here and let's say okay in HTML the first element that you will need okay which is the root element is HTML so let's just type HTML hit enter it's going to complete uh, for you with the opening HTML so this is the opening HTML this one with the bracket slash okay this is the closing okay or I should say the start tag the end tag in HTML normally most of the tags come with the start tag and the end tag right the open and the close okay so when you open the tag remember you close it okay within the HTML because this is the root and so if you think of a tree right uh, from the root you start to have like this is the trunk 
and then you have the branches and branches of the branches okay and so under uh, within the HTML there's the head section uh, head section okay which is one branch of HTML and then the other is the body section okay there are two different sections uh, let me briefly explain what these are so head section is basically some basic description and metadata information about the page and these information um, these pieces of information are not necessarily shown you know by the browser so they are more like hidden information okay um, and then the body section is what actually will be rendered on the browser if you use Chrome or Firefox or Edge or Safari that uh, within body section is what will be actually shown on the page okay so um, but within the head section we need to have a couple of elements in there so that we meet the basic requirement of HTML page the first one is the matter okay and particularly matter char set or character set okay and so character set now it is required because um, if you create a page you need to think about in what language uh, am I presenting the page right so today if there is a potential that maybe you are going to include multiple languages it is safe uh, to use UTF-8 okay UTF-8 and that is kind of the uh, international um, unit code unit code uh, character said that you know if you need English you could have English if you need Chinese Spanish you can all put in this one page and uh, the browser will not have problem um, showing it okay so uh, I would say just put UTF-8 in there and then the other required uh, element here is title okay so when you put title uh, we can just uh, make a uh, um, you know title uh, between the opening and the closing right so again you know if you want to uh, define the title so for example I want to call this uh, my world of game and we can change it later if we have a, a better name uh, for the page okay so this is the title of the page okay so um, a couple of concept, con concepts here okay so when you uh, put the uh, my world of game between the open and the close of the tag or between the star and the end tag this is called the inner HTML this is kind of the content of that tag um, with meta tag you see it differently right so um, I have the character set defined within the opening without with within the opening of the matter okay and so when it's a, it, this is referred to as an attribute so character set is an attribute and so if you want to give a value for each attribute you use the name of the attribute equal to quote unquote and then the value of the attribute okay uh, later we're going to encounter some of these concepts again so don't worry if you, you have some uh, difficulty understanding these but let's continue from here and so for the Wordle we can take a look at what is in here uh, on the interface uh, from the New York Times Wordle game so I think we probably need something like Wordle as a heading right uh, at the beginning of the page and then perhaps a board right a game board uh, with the which is like a matrix or a table with the rows and columns and then um, at the end we have the at the bottom we have the the keyboard right so uh, what we can do is that we can create a heading level one right this is kind of the top heading in the body section so again if you want something to be shown on the page that should go within the body section between the start and the end tag okay so this the start tag is bracket and then the tag name and then bracket okay uh, when I say bracket it means the less than and greater than 
uh, symbol. Uh, but the end tag, uh, there's one addition, which is the slash. So it's a bracket slash name the tag of the name and uh, the name of the tag and then bracket again okay so now let's add a heading level one this is the biggest heading okay so we can put something like h1 in html it allows up to six heading levels so heading level one two three four okay level one is the biggest heading so uh, let's have a uh, heading level one or h1 Okay, and just put Wordle there, okay? In a moment, we're going to see how this is going to look like. But for now, let's just uh, kind of uh, focus on the big picture here. So we need to have the name of the game at the top. And then in the middle, we need a, a board, right? So in HTML, there is a technique called division or section. and we can use the div and div is a very common technique uh, that is used almost everywhere okay um, so div is a division okay and so here we see there's a division for the game board there's a division for the keyboard right so let's make two divisions with two divs so first div I'm going to call it a, um, a, a, a you know um, the division for uh, the game board okay so there are a couple of ways we can do this but I would like to add an attribute called ID okay and the ID will be equal to board okay so uh, I would just say maybe game board is better okay so uh, either way game board okay and then there's another div okay and the ID is keyboard okay just to differentiate I use the capitalization so that um, uh, perhaps it emphasizes uh, the difference here okay so you see I have a div which is you can imagine as a section or container that contains the the game board and then the other container okay for the keyboard now, within, uh, there are still lots of details we need to figure out. But at this point, we can say, okay, within the game board, uh, we can say perhaps there are going to be five rows, right? So um, we can continue to use diff inside another diff, right? So there's a big game board and then in the game board we are going to have five uh, or six rows I should say okay so essentially we'll need six rows okay and we can continue to keep ID such as row one right and then there will be row two and row three but let me for the sake of demonstration okay uh, let's just put in two rows okay just for the purpose of demonstration because for now we just want to make sure that we can include can include the rows and, um, and make sure that it shows you know what the game can potentially show to the user but in the end we need to use JavaScript to control when you know these different rows will be shown with letters with different colors so um, but let's make the structure uh, right for now so um, in the row one right each row is going to have five letters so five boxes and again for the boxes we can continue to use this div so div is very general it can really be used for any divisions or sections and so let's continue to use div and we can refer this to as you know draw one column one right something like that and then we can copy paste and then row one column two okay so for now there is quite a bit of repetition here okay uh, but I want to set up set it up 
properly before we get to into programming and more advanced stuff. So bear with me here. Okay, so we are going to have the row one with five columns. Okay, so for now, let's stop here and see if we can show this on the browser. Okay, so on the right hand side is my browser, my Chrome browser. So I'm going to basically, I can drag this file over. Okay, and just to show it on the browser. Okay, so it's going to show the page on the browser. And as you can see right now, there's nothing except for the Wordle, right? Wordle is the H1, the heading level one uh, with the word. But the diff, they are in there, but because you ha we have no content, they are just invisible divisions on the page. Okay, they are there, but they are not shown. How can we show them, right? Um, that will require some CSS or cascading style sheet. So let me briefly introduce CSS and let's make it closer, at least from the look and feel, closer to uh, the version on New York Times, right? So um, right now there's nothing, there are boxes in there, but they're invisible, okay? So I'm going to make them visible and um, so let's use CSS, okay? And so in order to use CSS to give your page a look and feel and change the style and formatting and color and, and everything on the page, we need to link a page uh, to a CSS file, okay? So first of all, I'm going to create an empty CSS. So again, under this folder, new file, I'm going to create something like an index.css, okay? Doesn't matter, okay? But keep it short, keep the name short so that when you reference it, uh, it's easier, okay? So it's index.css and I'm going to create a link, okay? As you can tell, when you type link, it says link CSS, select it and hit enter, okay? So it's, the link is going to be a style sheet and there is the HREF, which stands for hyper-reference, okay? So in the hyper-reference, let's change the style.css to index.css. So let's change it to index.css, okay? Now, there's nothing in the CSS, so it does not affect anything yet. But if we start to enter something in the CSS, you know, we, it's going to um, make changes. Okay, so for now, I would like to just introduce one concept in CSS, okay, so that we can make some changes to the existing page and that will be it for today, okay? So one thing I would like to uh, change uh, is for the game board, right? So the game board, for example, uh, if we look at uh, this game board, right, it, it comes with certain uh, height and size, right? So in CSS, you can change the size of the board and perhaps even the background color, okay? So, um, so there are two things I would like to change here, okay? So first, I would like to change the background color of the entire page, okay? Maybe I want to make it darker because I think that is perhaps better uh, for the vision when people play your game on a mobile screen or other devices. So uh, let's go to the index.css and we can put body, okay? Uh, when you put body inside CSS, it's a element selector let's select the entire body. Remember, uh, back in the HTML, we have the body section. So this is selecting the entire body or document page. And then say, I want to apply the CSS to it. Okay, so after body, we have a set of curly braces. And the curly braces um, provide the boundary 
uh, where you can put your uh, CSS code okay and so one particular CSS uh, rule that you can put in here is the background color and we can say simply say gray okay so let me review so this body is the selector okay it selects the entire body and then following the selector there is the the start of the code okay so and when you have a pair of curly braces it defines where your CSS code is okay so inside the curly braces is where you put your CSS code okay and CSS code the rules come in pairs okay so first it's kind of the what style or what particular property you want to change and here we want to change the background color and then there's also the value you want to change to so I change to gray from the default and then between the property and the value there is the column okay and then at the end of that rule you put a semicolon here okay because later you are going to have more rules inside this okay so we can add more rules uh, in here but for now let's just make this minor change and if you go to the browser and refresh it immediately you will see that it's changed to a kind of a darker uh, gray background okay so that is the first change now the second change I would like to do is on the game board okay perhaps we want to you know adjust the game board and um, make it a different height and width because for the sake of uh, a test for now okay so how can we select the game board okay we can select div but it's going to select all the divs here okay and so perhaps we can focus on the div for this particular ID game board okay and there's a selector for this where you can select this game board or the keyboard or this particular row only okay using the ID selector okay so uh, because it comes with the ID game board we can use an ID selector which starts with the hash and then so hash game board is going to select the the particular HTML element with the get with ID equal to game board okay so we make sure this the rules that we put in here will only apply to the specific element with the ID and for now just for the sake of demonstration let's continue to change the background color okay so you can pick any color you like but I'm going to let's say let's you know uh, perhaps we can uh, just change for now to something um, like you know a light blue or whatever but you can pick your color okay and then I'm going to change also the height and the width okay so I'm going to change the height um, and there are lots of ways you can define the height but for now I'm going to just use uh, pixels to define the height so I'm going to make it perhaps 600 okay assuming um, px which is for pixel assuming each row is 100 height 600 will be enough and then for the width there are five columns and so would be 500 pixels okay so if we do that and save it make sure you save it you can either control save on windows or command save command s control s or command say uh command s to save your current uh, document or you can go to file and then select save okay but once you save and go back to your browser on the page refresh it it's going to reflect that change okay so i think this 
uh, will be our first step uh, to create this Wordle game. I'll stop here for now because they are already for those who are beginning to learn web development. Uh, there are quite a bit of concepts uh, in this video from HTML to CSS. And so basic HTML tags you can follow and there are also a couple of selectors in CSS that allow you to select certain elements in HTML and also CSS rules for to change the background color to change the height and width of a certain element. So I will stop here for now and then in the next video we will continue from here uh, to specify the size of the of the rows and columns and each individual boxes uh, so that we can simulate you know the world of game okay so i will see you in the next video bye for now